Hi, everyone. I'm Elizabeth Weber. As some of you know, I am one of the nurses at General Hospital. And since this is the nurse's ball and Lucy seems to be uh, indisposed at the moment, I've been asked to fill in. Thank you, Felix. <laughs> so without further ado, our next act is... Um, oh, it's the traditional tango by Duke Lavery and uh, Lucy Coe. You gotta save me from disaster. What? Well, Lu Lucy's gone missing. I can't dance the oh, tango. Oh, no, no, ask someone else. You haven't forgotten how to dance the tango, have you? The last time I thought it was with face on. Yeah, I know, but I am taking it back. What? He's stolen enough from me. The tango is one of the most important things in my life. He cannot have it. Well, I guess. Well, you remember the routine. And you know how important it is to both of us. Oh, Anna, come dance with me. OK, everyone, there's been a slight change in plans. Please put your hands together for Duke Lavery and the last minute but lovely commissioner, Anna Devane. We didn't just do that, did we? Uh, yes, we did. You know, that dance was nothing short of marvelous. And, uh, oh, you were pretty good. Oh, thanks. Oh, Anna, I've missed that. What? Your laugh, your smile. Oh, yes, I've missed it, too. I have, really. Were you thinking of anyone else up there? No. No? Maybe that's the key. Maybe that's the key to exercise phase on from our minds. Maybe we have to create new memories together. Oh God, it's not that simple, Duke. We're on opposite sides of the law. That's not the reason, Anna. You're afraid. Do you think I'm not afraid? I am. And I'm not afraid of losing you. I'm afraid of getting you back because I might not be enough. We might not have it anymore. You and I have a lot to live up to in the romance department. But even though I'm scared, I'm gonna take a chance. So what do you say? Why don't you and I take on this brave new world? Together. Is he your boyfriend oh. now? <laughs> hey, you don't have to answer that. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, that's all right. Um, I don't know. I guess Duke is my boyfriend now. Yeah. Are you? I have no objection to that. Okay. <laughs> Gamma. Yes. I 
think they, they need us to get ready for our number. Break a leg, you two. That's a dead cow. Okay. I, don't, I don't know exactly what to say. Here, but, uh... I guess I could say the same thing about you, huh? Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present the youngest and most adorable performer we have this evening, Emma Scorpio Drake, accompanied by the gorgeous, adorable General Hospital's own Sabrina Santiago. As most of you know, tonight's Nurses Ball is being held in honor of a late, beloved member of our community, Dr. Robin Scorpio Drake. And we're fortunate this evening that her husband would like to speak with us. So I hope you will welcome Robin's husband, General Hospital's Chief of Neurosurgery, Dr. Patrick Drake. Nurses Ball was first hosted in Port Charles in 1994. Since then, HIV and AIDS has become more treatable and more manageable thanks to medical advancements, which is wonderful, but it's also misleading. A lot of people believe that our goal has been reached, our mission accomplished, but 1.2 million people are living with HIV AIDS in this country alone. 17,000 people perish annually. Globally, there are 34 million people living with the virus and 1.8 million deaths a year. Clearly, there is a lot of work to be done. And no one knew that better than my late wife, Dr. Robin Scorpio Drake. Thank you. Um, for those of you that, that didn't know, um, Robin became HIV positive when she was just a kid in a much scarier time when uh, we didn't know as much about the disease. And because of that, uh, prejudices were rampant. But instead of succumbing to those prejudices, the, the city of Port Charles, they supported Robin and they loved Robin. And the staff at General Hospital became her second family. And this ball became a tradition. Its purpose, rededicated, 
and reaffirmed here tonight. So um, come here, little one. You were fantastic, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> um, my little pop star daughter here and I are uh, forever grateful for the love that you showed Robin and for the love that you continue to show to a cause that, uh, that Robin believed in with all her heart. She had a, uh, a wonderful life. She, um, she was dedicated to healing and to finding a cure. And although she was taken from us before that day was reached, her, her legacy will live on in organizations like AMFAR, the community of Port Charles, and the staff at General Hospital. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Each and every one of you have made a significant contribution to helping Robin's dream become a reality. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good job. What are you doing here? I was just so moved by that lovely tribute. I thought I'd add a few words of my own. I wish you could be here for our daughter's moment in the spotlight. Britta would make you a very proud papa. Please don't make a scene, Britt. This is about Robin tonight. I understand. No, I don't think you do. Nobody cares what you have to I say. I think everyone so will be very leave. interested, especially you, Patrick. 